Mm, what we're going to do is we're going to do a lesson today, but first I want to warm up a little bit, okay? I want to see what you know. So when you answer questions for me, I want you to try to make complete sentences. If I ask you something like, what is that? I don't want you just to say sun. I want you to make a big sentence. You can say, it's the sun, or that is the sun. Or, she is Sally. Or, it is outside. Try to make full sentences. Okay? Let's warm up first with the vocabulary. Let me ask only Jiwoo. Jiwoo, are you ready? Jiwoo, what is it? Good, Jiwoo. Do you see a clock in the picture? Yes. How many clocks are there? How many clocks do you see? No clocks. Good, there is one clock. Excellent, Jiwoo. How about Hyobin? Hyobin, are you ready? What is this, Hyobin? Good. Right now, in this building, are we downstairs? Upstairs? Where are we right now? Upstairs. Good, we're upstairs. Is there more upstairs? Yes. Ah, is there downstairs? Yes. Ah, how many? How many floors? Four. Four? Four. Oh, good job. Hyobin. We are upstairs right now. But there is even more upstairs. How about mm, Evan? Evan. Mm, what is it? Easy one, Evan. Cat. Do you like cats? No. No? You don't? I like dogs. Oh, big dogs or small dogs? Small dogs. Small dogs. Do you have a dog? Yeah. Oh, you do? What kind of dog? <laughs> Jingo Gay. Jingo Gay, really? That's a big dog. That's really, really big. Good. Cat. Excellent. Evan, how many cats do you see? Um, there are two. Perfect. I like the way he said that. There are two. He could even say, there are two cats. Good. Good. Mm, how about oh, John? I love you, John. John is already my friend. He thinks I'm 20 years old. John, what is this word? Inside. Good. John, are we inside or outside? We're inside. John, who else is inside? Can you make a full sentence? Tell me who is inside. What is inside? Yes. Her name is Lily. His name is David. Yep. So can you make a full sentence? David is... Oh, inside. Good. Excellent, John. David is inside. Perfect. That's the kind of sentences I want you to make. Kevin, are you ready? Kevin, what is... Ooh, this is kind of hard one. I mean, easy word, but to understand it can be kind of difficult. What is it? Good. Mm, Kevin, mm, mm, if Sally is talking, right? She is talking to the dog. Do you know the dog's name? Happy. Good. That's a good name. What's your dog's name? It's Korean name. Korean, that's okay. What's your dog's name? Kyungna. Kyungna. Oh, what does it mean? In English, just name? I have a cat. I love cats. I have a cat. He is so fat. Name. He's so lazy and fat. My cat's name is Yongsik. <laughs> Yongsik. He's Yongsik the cat. Kevin, if Sally is talking to the dog, she's talking to Happy, what does Sally say? Does she say that he is here, or does she say that he is there? It's kind of a hard one, right? Is the dog close to Sally or far away from Sally? Yeah, he is. So is the dog here or there? Good, excellent, good job. Kevin, the dog is here, okay? We're gonna talk about that more later, here and there. It depends on where you are. I am here, but John is over there. But I am standing here, and Evan is here with me, but Brian is over there. Okay? Depends on where you are. Mm, Peter. Yes. Peter, what is... Oh, I'll show you the same trick I showed the last class. What's this? Good boy. Mm, when you have a boy, how many boys in here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six boys? Oh, seven. I'm also a boy. Okay? Boy, do we say... She? No. No, what do we say if it's a boy? He. Good. So, can you make a full sentence? Where's the boy? There's only one boy in the picture. The boy is upstairs. 
Good. The boy is upstairs. Perfect. Big sentence. Full sentence. The boy is upstairs. Or David is upstairs. Good job. He is always a boy. I'm going to write it down here. He. Good. Let's have... Mm, oh, that's Peter. Good job, Peter. Brian. Yes. Brian, are you ready? Mm, this is... Uh, let's try... Mm, this one. What is it? Door. Good. Easy, easy word, right? Can you make a sentence about the door? Any sentence. How many doors are there? There are two doors. Perfect. Excellent. There are two doors. Brian, wonderful. Eric, are you ready? Eric, tell me, mm, what is this one? Oh. Good. You guys are going to just breeze right through this. Eric, mm, do you see a lot of flowers or just a few flowers? Good, excellent. Are the flowers inside or outside? They're awesome. Good, excellent. Last one, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Jessica smiled like this. Jessica goes, hey. <laughs> Jessica, mm, Jessica, what is this? Bookcase. Good. Where is the bookcase? Is it inside? Is it outside? Is it upstairs? Is it downstairs? Inside. And? Good. Can you make a full sentence? Big sentence. The bookcase. The bookcase is? Big. The bookcase is big. Good. You can say that. The bookcase is big. You can say, there are many books on the bookcase. You could even say, the bookcase is downstairs. Okay? Excellent. Wonderful. Wonderful. Good. I want you guys to tell me what you see in the picture. Pick something. Pick anything. And tell me what you see. Raise your hands. I want you to raise your hand. Tell me. What do you see in the picture? Tell me about anything that you see. There are some trees. Good. Can you tell me about what you see in the picture? There are some trees. Excellent. Can you tell me about what you see in the picture? I love you guys. Yeah. There are some clouds. There are some clouds. Oh, good. How many clouds do you see? Two. Good. I see two clouds. Anyone else? Tell me, what do you see in the picture? There are some chairs. Good. Oh, how many chairs are there? There is one chair. Good. So there are some chairs. There is one chair. Good. Today, I want to focus on some special words. I want to focus on he. I want to focus on, what is it? He. Good. I want to focus on, what is it? He. Good. I want to focus on, what is it? They. Good. I want to talk about these four special words first. Okay? So, mm, he, can someone make a sentence with he? Start with the word he. He, and tell me about this picture. You want to try it? Try it. He. He is a um, red hair. Oh, yeah, good. You can say he has red hair. Excellent. How many he's are in this picture? How many? How many things in this picture are he? One. One. Good. Excellent. Thank you. Only one person is a he. How about this one? What is it? She. Can someone make a sentence using the word she? Make a sentence start with the word she. She is the downstairs. Good. We have to use word is. She is downstairs. Can you make another word with she? She's outside. She is outside. Good. Excellent. She always talks about a girl. How many girls are in the picture? Two. Excellent. Good. Next one. This is where it gets hard. Okay, next one is what? <laughs> Good. What is it? He is a boy. She is a girl. It is what? Tree. Good. It is a tree. You're right. It is a tree. Is oh, you can talk about anything. It is a book. Okay. Good. Here. But what, what is it that is alive? Not like a desk. Desk is not alive. Not a living thing. Okay. Who said? Good job. Say it again. What is it? He is a, it is a cat. Good. It is a cat. Because animals, we don't say he or she, we say it. Dog. Good. So make a full sentence. It? It is a dog. It is a dog. Good. A always means one. There's one dog. Now, the last one is also kind of hard. He is easy. She is easy. It, uh, what's this? They. What is they? 
Good. So David and Lisa. Sally. Sally. Good. Mm, if I say David, if I look at David, if I say mm, they are upstairs, is it right? Yes. No. no, it's not. Why is it not right? I cannot say they are upstairs. How many people are upstairs? One. One. One person is upstairs. Can one be they? No. no. It has to be two or three or four or one hundred million. Okay? It has to always be more than two. So how do we use the word they? Someone raise your hand. Make a sentence with they. Want to try? They are home. They are what? Home. They are home. Good. When you say they, they are home, who is he talking about? Two people's names. They are home. He's right. Good sentence. They are home. They is who? Who is they? Good, perfect. They are David and Lily. They are home. They are inside. They are in their home. Ooh, good. Could I say they are outside? Can I say that? Yes. Yes. Even though, what is it? He, she, it, they? Is it he, she, it, they? It. It's an it. It's a, it's, but when they are together, I can still say they. They are outside. Okay? Good. Everybody, open up your, your books, please. Open up your books. And I want you to mm, turn to page number... Uh, no, actually, we're going we're gonna to start a little bit further into it. Okay? Page number five. Page number five. Okay? Good. Everyone, let's talk about speak more. So actually, I want for two people to come up here. Two people. Raise your hand. Come on up. Come on up, Ji Wu. And oh, I just can't. Come on up. Good. You know what? I'm gonna give Ji Wu and Evan. Thank you, Ji Wu and Evan. I'll give you guys one more start. Come on up. Take your book. You can bring your book. Yeah. So we're gonna do speak more together. And everybody, I want you to listen to them, okay? Ready? So I want you to ask the first question. What's the question? Question always ends in a, what is it? Good, question mark, good. I want you to ask the first question, and you will answer. And then I want you to ask the second question, and you will answer. Ready? Here we go. Is David inside? Yes, he is inside. Is David upstairs? Yes, he is upstairs. Is Lily inside? Yes, she is inside. Is Lily downstairs? Yes, she is downstairs. Is Sally outside? Yes, she is outside. Is Happy outside? Yes, he is outside. Are they home? Yes, they are home. Good job. Oh, give me a Good job. Sit down. Now, that was excellent. You can sit down. Now, you know what? Good questions, good answers, good reading. When you, you know what? You have a dog, right? You have a dog, you have a get. Who else has dog or cat? Anyone else have dog? No. no? Only one person has a dog? Oh. Do you walk your dog outside? You take yeah. him outside for a walk? Yeah. And he gets to play, he gets to run around? No? You just yeah. walk him around? Oh, okay. When you talk to your parents at home, how do you talk? I want you to think about this. When you're at home, sitting at home, let's say you want to ask your mom, you know, Korean people are very different than American people. I really mean that. Sometimes Korean people are so polite and nice, and sometimes we talk differently. If I am home and I want to talk about my dog, okay, and I want to ask my mom, okay, how do you say it? You want to say, is he inside or is he outside? In fact, look, the dog is, is happy outside? Yes, it is outside, okay? So if I was going to ask my mom, is happy outside? I wouldn't say, mom, is happy outside? I would say, mom, is happy outside? It's a question, right? It's a question, but sometimes, I know it's kind of bad, but that's how we talk, right? Sometimes it's not polite. Look at the rest of the questions. Is David inside? How would you say it? If you're looking for your brother, who has brother? Do you have brother? Do you have a brother? Do you have a sister? No. Do you have, do you have a brother? You fight with your brother sometimes? Uh, older brother or younger brother? Older. 
Does he win fight or do you win the fight? He wins. Is he very tall? Oh. So let's pretend like you, yesterday, you had a fight with your brother, okay? And you, you did something bad. You, you kicked him and you ran away, okay? Now you're coming home and you're worried that your brother is very angry at you, okay? What's your brother's name? Jewu. Okay, so how would you ask your mom? You come in the house, open the door, you see your mom, you think Jay Wu is there and he's going to hit you. What do you say to your mom? Ask your mother if your brother is there. My brother, actually, my brother's name is David. I'm not kidding. My brother, I have one brother, older brother. Really, his name is David. He lives in America. If I open the door, and my brother, we used to fight too. I would go, is David inside? I want to know if he's home. So I want you to think about how you say something, when you say something. How would it really sound? Okay? Try to make it funny. I need two more people to come up. Two people to come up. You want to come up? Come on up. No, you already might. You have to sit down. Come on up. Bring your books. Now, this time I want you to think about ways that you really talk to your mom. Because when I talk to my mom or my brother or my father, I don't say, is David inside? Yes, he is inside. Is David upstairs? Yes, he's downstairs. Is Lily inside? Yes, she's inside. Is Lily downstairs? I don't say that. I say, ah, is Lily downstairs? I want you to think about how it sounds if you really talk to somebody, okay? Try it, try it. Oh, I'm sorry, you can go first, you will go second, okay? Ready? Think about how you really say these things if you talk to someone in the real world, okay? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Ready, go. Is baby in Yes, he is in is David upstairs? Yes, he is upstairs. Is Lily inside? Yeah, she is inside. Is Lily downstairs? Yes, she is downstairs. Is Sally outside? Yeah, she is upstairs. Is Happy outside? Yes, he is outside. Are they home? Yes, they are home. Good. Now I want you to try again, but wait, one more time. But this time I want you to go over there. And I want you to go over here. Actually, you're going to go all the way over here, okay? And I want you to pretend like you are inside and you are outside, okay? You're outside and you are inside, so he cannot hear you. So you have to be loud. You're trying to talk to him from far away. Ready? Go. Is David? Is David Louder. You have to ask him. He can't hear you. Yes, is David? he is inside. Good. Is David upstairs? Yes, he's upstairs. He's it's up. Lily inside? Yeah, she is inside. Is Lily downstairs? Yeah, she is downstairs. Is Sally outside? Yeah, she is outside. Is Happy outside? Yes, it is outside. Are they home? Yes, they are home. Excellent, you guys can sit down. Thank you so much. I want you to think about the different ways that people talk to each other when they are far away, when they are here, or when they are there. Um, I want to try, actually, I want to try a, a, kind of a funny game, okay? Um, because uh, I really want to put this so that people can see it. I'm going to try the same game because I want it to work. Um, I need mm, five people to come up here. Five people. Okay, okay, good. Five people, sit down. You can go next. You will go next. I'm going to teach you this game, and I want it to go very, very fast, okay? So what I want you to do is I'm going to show you an action. I'm going to show you one thing that you do, like eating or jumping or swimming. And I want you to come right here. I want you to come right here. I want you to come right here. You to come oh, move a little bit this way. Okay. And this is what I want you to do. Turn this way. Turn this way. Turn this way. Good. You cannot look at the person behind you. Don't look behind you. So the first person, what's your name? Brian. Brian. I'm going to show him something. I'm going to show him something like, what's this? Easy. Good. I'm going to show him something simple like that. He is going to tap Jiwoo on the shoulder. Only Jiwoo can look. And Brian will go like this. And then Jiwoo will go, ah. And then she will show it to you. And then you will show it to him. And then you have to guess what it is. I want to try this fast. Ready? 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 And, oh, you can't look. Jiwoo, don't look. Ready? This is going to be it. Go.
What is it? Brush. Good. Excellent. Go back down to the oh, oh, sorry, I'm sorry. You're going to come back down to the end here. Nope. Turn around the same way. You go back to the beginning, and then you're at the end. So move forward a little bit. Every time you finish, you go back to the end. Are you ready? Yeah. You know what? Let's move this way a little bit. Come down, come down, come down. Ready? No looking. No looking. Are you ready? Mm. Go.
Exactly. Good job. Go to the back. Call them someone on your phone. Now, we're going to try a vocab word. This is going to be hard. I want you to think, what does it look like? What are they touching? What are they using? Okay? Okay? Ready? This is a hard one. Ready? Show it to you again, ready? Ready? Uh -huh. Looks like this. Good. Excellent. One last one. One last one because you didn't get a chance to go. Is that everybody? One last one will be. Mm, mm. Oh no. Okay, ready? This is going to be a hard one, okay? Ready? You will marry her. You will lie a 
Brian. Brian? Where's Brian? Oh, Brian. Um, Brian, it's going to be Lily and the dog together, and they are right here. Maybe they're playing. Brian, can you make a can you make a sentence? Is it he, she, it, or they? Good. Where are they? They are. They are on the bookcase. Good. They are on the bookcase. Excellent. They are on the bookcase. Evan, are you ready? Yeah. Mm, this time, it's just the sun. It's just the sun, but the sun is. Uh, the sun is right there. <laughs> now, wait a minute. It's the sun. Is the sun a boy? Is the sun a girl? Is the sun a they? It. Good. So, Evan, what do you think? It? It is Evan? It is in the house or in the home, but where is it more specifically? Good. Excellent, Evan. What if Peter? Where's Peter? Peter. Hello. Two girls. Two girls are right here. They are on the table. Good, they are on the table. How about John? Ready, John? One girl is... Um, ooh, right here. Uh, she, she is outside. She is where? You can say she's outside, you're right. She is under the... She is under the tree. Good job. She's under the tree. Ready? Uh, almost done. John, uh, Kevin, last one. Kevin, ooh, how about this? It's Lily, Sally, David, the dog, the son, and the cat. All of them, and they're up here. Wow. All of them together, what is it? They are on the roof. Good, excellent. They are on the roof. Because they isn't only two people. They can be lots of people, okay? Turn back in your book to page number three. We don't have time. Should I just finish? Um, we don't have time for it. Yeah, turn to page number four. Actually, page number four. Yep. Ready for page number four? Take a look at it. We're going to use the words. Clock, book, closet, tree, car, boy, and flower. What? What is number one? Clock. Good. Number one is clock. Everybody, write it, please. And I want you to. I want one person to make a sentence with clock. Who can give me a sentence with the word clock in it? Sentence with the word clock in it. Jingu, thank you. Make any sentence with the word clock in it. Clock. Yeah, the word clock. Can you make a full sentence? So remember the picture. You could say where the clock is. The clock is. Clock is in the room. The clock is in the room. Clock is in the room. Oh, good! I love it. Watch this. I'm gonna write something wrong here. The clock is in the upstairs. Hey, upstairs. What kind of room is it? Is it a bathroom? A living room? A kitchen? What kind of room is it? The clock is in the upstairs. Bathroom. Bathroom. Not bathroom. 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 Bedroom. It's a bedroom. It's David's bedroom. The clock is in the upstairs bedroom. Good. Um, what's wrong with this sentence? Two things. Two things are a problem with this sentence. What's number one? The clock is in the picture, but look at this sentence. I want you to think of two things that are wrong with this sentence. Tell me one thing. Where is the clock is in the upstairs bedroom? Good. The clock is in the upstairs bedroom, but something is wrong with this sentence. There are two problems, two mistakes in the sentence. Easy ones. Okay. When, when do you use this? What is this? Question mark. We're not making a question. This would be a question. The clock is in the upstairs bedroom? Like, is it? What should be at the end of a sentence? No, what should be at the end of the sentence? Not about the sentence. Guys, I just want you to know this. I want to do this every time with you, okay? What's this? 
It's a period. Every sentence ends with a period. Or a question. This is not a question, a question sentence. What happens to the first letter in a sentence? What happens to the first letter in a sentence always? Yeah, it's capitalized, right? You always have to make it big. Every sentence starts with a capital letter, ends with a period. Take a look at number two. Ready? Number two, what is it? It's a book. Good. How about, can someone raise their hand? Tell me, tell me a sentence with the word book in it. Evan, go ahead. It is in the bookcase. It is in the bookcase. What is in the bookcase? The book. The book are in the bookcase. Good. The books are in the bookcase. What goes at the end of this sentence? Period. Good. What goes at the beginning of the sentence? Me. Good. Number three, everybody. Number three. What's number three? Closet. Closet. Good. This will be the last one we'll do today, together. Someone make a sentence for me. Where is the closet? Where is the closet? Oh. John? John? Kevin? Kevin. Kevin, can you make a sentence for me? Good. You don't have to say the. I mean, you can say the closet. The closet is upstairs. Not the upstairs. Just upstairs. Capital letter, period at the end. Right now, quickly, we're going to do number four. What is it? Tree. 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 Good. Number five, what is it? Car. Good. Number six, what is it? Four. Good. Number seven, what is it? Four. Number eight, what is it? Chair. I want you guys to go ahead and close your books. Close your books. It's time to go. What's my name? Hey. Good. I had a fun time hanging out with you guys today. I want you to remember. I know in this program, you're always speaking. You're always talking, memorizing, and doing things. I want you to remember, when you speak, try and speak like you really speak. When I talk, I don't say, hello, is David home? Yes, he is. Try to speak the way that you speak to your friends, the way that you speak to your mother, you know? Even though Korean and English are very different, we still talk the same ways with feeling and emotion, okay? It was really, really fun hanging out with you guys today. Come and let up.